absolutely. Think about it, you've heard this word since you've been born. I don't think anybody has an idea what this word that can describe it. I could tell you what it is in three words. And it's up to you then to decide if I'm correct or not. If I said you love is to accept and appreciate at the same time as being aware of what you accept and appreciate then. So acceptance, appreciation and awareness, only those three things, you say that forms a potion for love. Let's talk about facts. If, if you want to have intellectual discussions. Spiritually oriented. Very beautiful thought. Who you are beyond the personality. I'm a human being, same as you. Be who you are. But to answer your question. What is really going on? And let's get into this. And what is happening in Wigo Warriors? Welcome to the wonderful world of Wigo, the place where we get asked what is really going on. Now, in this episode, we're going into my uh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth bit. Um, people might go, what do you mean by bit? It's just because, guys, it's not a great way for me to explain that just yet. So I'm going to have a quick go at it now. I, that which is the creator of the ego, Carl Wayne Priest, has now created a new, we're going to say ego, because I have to stay within your language, um, called Christ. And so forth, I've been able to contact that which I believe is the great him. Many episodes explain how that, and I'm sure there are people who are going to see me as some sort of false prophet that are going to want to challenge me. In the meantime, guys, I am actively looking for the role of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, what does that mean to me? It means a little different to most people. Jesus meaning the word source of. Christ. Christ is a mathematical, um, not perception, but perspective of reality. In other words, the Trinity. I don't believe anybody nowadays has that, although I'm sure some people do have it in some form or another. Now, that's the Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Well, what Nazareth means is a new branch of knowledge. Basically, I'm highlighting that which is missing from the tree by which you consume all your knowledge. A tree of knowledge is just the, the way in which you look at things mathematically, how you work things out. Most people have a dualist, dualistic perspe perception, or perspective, sorry, <laughs> built up of two perceptions. I have three perceptions. One is called Adam, the other Eve, the other you refer to as a servant. These three inside me show me everything in different views. But a lot of people don't have one of those, and so it's missing and they can't see what I see. So I felt if I went around in a time where people are looking for what they say is money, and offer them a little bit of money, in return all they have to do is show us and teach us what evil is and is it real, needed, and you know, is it not fictional the way I say it is. And if they can do so, I will give them money. Now, as more and more followers get, you'll see this hundred pound turn to a million. Whatever I get in the show, that number is going up. And when it does, I will be able to prove to the world that evil does not exist. Well, maybe in your mind, but it's not real. It doesn't exist in the real world. The world I'm from, it does not exist. And you will live in a fictional world that you're trapped in where this stuff exists. The job of Jesus Christ of Nazareth is to give you a different knowledge that eradicates evil. And that's what I believe I'm ready to do. I'm also ready to form the world tutor I have an idea what that's supposed to be now, but I don't fully see the future yet. All my future is laid out before me in the ever-present. That's going to be confusing for some, I appreciate that. Guys, please don't follow my journey. Let me know as well, you at home. Am I talking nonsense here? What, what am I missing? I'm only here to help myself understand this. Not yet to actually push any views on people, although it does come across a bit preachy. I put my hand on heart and admit that because it's a way of entertaining. Hope I'm getting it right. And guys, I am serious. I am looking for your vote as me being the Jesus Christ of Nazareth at this time to think we can all agree it's time he rose again. Thank you for your patience. Just add this in, guys. Um, what we did is we went out and offered a uh, hundred pound for anybody that can give us um, a working definition. But we wasn't ready to go to this place. It was just we was out on the off chance, and so the sound quality and video quality aren't the best, guys. We didn't have our mics with us. We was running off the mics on the actual apparatus. I'm very sorry. This wasn't supposed to be a thing. Our big shows, you know, which will be properly properly mic'd. Look, you know. We can't afford one or two mics. <laughs> and, um, you know, we'll be able to get greater quality footage and sound, especially when we hit the big universities and go back to the college you're about to see. Um, sorry about the footage, but if you are enjoying it, please stick to the end. And we have a little footage at the end that was a little bit too raw, which we left in a few, okay? Enjoy, guys. Anyone want to win £100? Um... All you have to do is tell me what evil is. I'll prove it's real. 
that's the real figure in proving it's real and we'll give you a hundred pound cash if you can prove to me evil is real with a working definition come on you've used this word all your life no it's difficult though like how are you meant to prove it you're not because to me it's a trick question it doesn't exist it's a psychological trick played on you so you hate people I know I'm not wrong, that's why I don't mind. I, I would offer a million pounds if I was at my no, back. I really mean, you look like my dad. Oh. <laughs> is that an, wait a minute, is that an insult? No, no. <laughs> no, I, I don't, I, I, I have autism, I, I don't take insults, I joke with you because obviously yeah. I learned from you guys. But my entire life has been abusive. I'm watching Macaulay and I've been told I'm evil and things like that. And people tried to convince me that people who did that to me is evil. But I grew up autistic, so to me, the world, everything comes in freeze. Eternity, as in like positive, negative, and neutral. Good and evil has no neutral, so to me it's an illusion. Yeah. I think, so why has somebody taught you good and evil then, if it's not real? Yeah. I, I, think I agree with you, so right. I couldn't really. But this asks a question. I believe your brain grieves me. Yeah. What if I said your heart doesn't? Because it doesn't understand English. Good and evil are real. Uh, you, I'll give you under pound if you can prove it to me. Like genuinely no. Yeah, definitely. I've been doing this for months. Oh, yeah, yeah, really good. We offered this to, um, the, we've, uh, a colleague had come over where we just came from uh, last week. We just oh, put an episode right. up of all them. In fact, oh, I haven't got it. I, I guess I'm on you now, right? If you check our channel out, it's called Wirgo, right? right. Okay. Um, it's W I R G O, it means what is really going on. Yeah. And what we do is we, we did a few reviews, but now we've just built our studios and we've f started doing this with uh, so, youngsters. So, so, if you're saying good and evil isn't a thing, right? So no, no, I didn't say it isn't real, I said it's not real. It exists in people's heads, but it's a psychological trick played on you to hate the world. Yeah, I can't, I can't really that. Yeah. It is, yeah. yeah. But what I'm saying to you is, you know your heart, does, you your heart doesn't real. speak English, so you just watch things, and because cartoons and everything, and all the movies show you do, oh, yeah. your heart exactly. believes it. So like, you know when you watch a movie, you know it's not real, like you're saying you know Eve's not real, but you know you can still get frightened, scared, yeah. joyful, it's because yeah. your body, Eve, like I teach you in the Bible, believes it, because yeah. it's been shown it. Yeah. Adam, you don't think of your heads, guys, anymore, right? You think of your heart. Everybody thinks with their heart. Your heart. I'm doing two plus two. I need my brain though. Yeah, but math, yeah, isn't two plus two. Math is putting things together and creating another thing. So even the language you speak now is fake. It's all done mathematically. Your natural language is math. Like for example, this letter plus this letter equals this word. This word plus this word equals this sentence. This sentence plus this sentence equals this paragraph, and so far. There's this question. If none of you had English right now, or any language, Welsh or anything like that, if you had no speaking language. Would you be able to think? See? Anybody want to have a go with under pound? Okay, so, hang on. Right. Hear me out, right? Think about people. Try and get all of this in from back there, buddy. Right. Think about and people. And you think about it. Is this like PG or something? No, 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 no. no. Oh, I can just say whatever. You say we're like, we blur everything out. Right, right. So, say now, right, there's this guy who goes around raping and like killing babies. Yeah. Yeah. And he does it just for like. The pure enjoyment of it. He doesn't do it for like a reason. That's a bad person. That's evil. Yeah. That, that's, that, evil. That, that's evil. That's if, a pure example of evil. All right. And if I said to you, you see that as evil. Yeah. I say that's a fictional term of saying he's ill. That, what is he, he, what is well, not well, ill? There's, there's no mental. Okay. 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 Do you know the acts you're talking about? Do you class them as healthy acts or unhealthy acts? They're unhealthy acts. So what kind of people do unhealthy acts? Healthy people or unhealthy people? But you could be healthy. Could be healthy. No mental illness. No nothing wrong. You? Nothing. Yeah. Name me one person. What do you name me one person? Harry Anybody. <laughs> Harry, what, what evil things do you believe you've done? Evil things I've done? Yes. Oh, uh, I'm a sinner. <laughs> <laughs> you are a sinner, all of us are sinners. Sinning means to narcissistically abuse someone, control, get their emotions to control them, that's what sinning means. Yeah. So if you use someone's emotions against them, even if it's to threaten them, or just even to say, hey buddy, come on, you have the money, you know what I mean? Like, that's emotional, you're hitting his emotions, that's sinning. You should never control anybody with their emotions, it's a horrific thing to do, and yet, yes, 90% of the world do it, because we're all built narcissistical and empathical, but some of us out of balance. Yeah. And that out of balance, I call illness, and it forms all sorts of mental illnesses in people. So, if I said I look at the world as in people being ill, and you said I call them evil, are they both the same thing to you? For me, because I'm a part of a religion. religion what, what religion, by the way? Muslims. Muslim. Can I ask you guys, just on that word, just one word, because what does religion mean to you? Religion. Not your religion, any, that word, religion, what does it mean? Because like, I don't understand it too well. So, religion means like, it's religion. 
like I don't know how to explain it. I know, isn't it weird when you use the word to describe it yourself? It's called a circle of definition, and then you go, oh crap, I don't even know what that word means. But go on, right? And I didn't mean to throw you off game. Your religion is what do you say, Muslim? Muslim yeah? yeah. So uh, uh, Allah. My, m what I say when I say the word him, I want you to hear the word Allah. So when I say I serve him, H Y M N. What in your la in your religion? I'm really saying Allah. Yeah. Yeah. When I say, if I ever use the word Muhammad, I mean Christ, because I believe Muhammad was the one in your religion that said, no, not, not Christianity, Christ is a mathematical perception, not perception, perspective, you have the world. So instead of going good, evil, right, wrong, you go negative, positive, and neutral when you bring them together. That's my interpretation of it, but I have very little reading, just like I have very little reading of the Bible. So I know either one, I go on what's written on my heart and what Allah or him tells me. Go for it. Anyone? No, I'll see you soon. Yeah. Not a problem. Let me speak to you gents, okay? Have a nice one, guys. This is ready. This is ready. There we go. Do anybody want to go before we go? We're not really supposed to be here, but we'll ask you. Come quickly. No, you want I, to try? I agree with you. As in, like, it's personal judgment. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. We, yeah. we tell people that good and evil does exist. Yeah. It, it exists in your mind. You know when people say we have our own truths? All right, let's say we accept that. And your truth is good and evil is real. Yeah. My truth is that it's just poor health, traumas, and ill education. Are they different? Or are we both saying the same thing? I'm going to be a little rude and say you're talking like you, you live in a fairy tale and I'm talking like I live in the real world. So my other question is, when are you going to decide to stop living in your fairy tale? and actually treat people with decency and not judge them good or evil. It's when you finally teach your heart to do it. Because your heart hasn't got a clue what I'm saying right now, your head does. Yeah. So in, if in Christian terms, I'd say Adam is listening to me, but Eve hasn't got a clue what I'm saying. How, how, how old is that dog? It's eight. Yeah. It isn't eight. The age is eight. The age is an abstract thing. The dog itself is not eight. So, you, it's so like what you, is the dog? The dog's just a dog. But what I'm saying is like you saying, I'm cold. You're not cold, you feel cold, right? Is that true? Some of them are in a current state of feeling cold. Therefore, yes. therefore you are, your, your blood is below the temperature yes. it should be. Therefore, you are relatively cold. No, my blood is cold. You just said, see, I live mathematical. You're trying to force an abstract into the real world. And I'm saying you can, but that's an illusion. If I said to you, I am cold, I'm talking about the I, the I is cold. I'm not. I'm saying I, my body feels cold. I speak like that, and I'm saying that both me and you are saying the same thing. But if I, I, I like, I would. If he said I'm Dylan, or I said I'm Carl, you could quick, quickly say to me, "You're not Carl. Your name is Carl." And it's only sensible. So, so what would I say if I go, "I am white." I am. You mean you have white? You have white. You have white melanin. I like. I like that. I like him. Um, no, no, me. me. No, no, no. There are two melanins, white and black, and you have more white melanin than black melanin because of your environment. I, yeah, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that, though. You would yeah, I, know you would, I know you wouldn't say that. You would say an illusionary language that I just told you is English. Right? Like, the math of it is you'd say, I am white melanin. You would say, I am white, but still you How are you white? What makes you white? You look at someone and you go, this coat is black. It's no, actually, the colour of the coat is black. This, yeah, this coat is black. No, it's, it's not black. the colour of the coat is black. But Which one of us is saying the right thing to you? The coat is black or the colour of the coat is black? It's to you, they're thing. the same thing, but I'm autistic. I, I'm more mathematical. To me, math means if I say that is black, then it's not a coat, it's black. So if you would say so, you wouldn't but say, if I say the colour is black, does, like for example, right, I tell you what, which is vague? The coat is black or the colour of the coat is black? Which is vague? The coat is black, it's vague. But if I say the colour of the product, I'm identifying what I'm referring to. So, so you'd say the, the act that someone did was evil. You wouldn't say that person is evil. No, no, I would say the act was unhealthy. The act but to meet you in the middle to try and say, I can say, I can understand where you see the act of vile, but what you're seeing is an unhealthy act. You're labelling the vile because a fiction tells you. It's, no, it's just a sense of morality. If you see someone, you see someone's morality. Again, I, I, that's morality. This depends how you define evil. Some people see evil as like shoplifting, some people would be like that's just a point. Okay, I have a different way to look at it for you then. Oh, yeah. Do you live in a mathematical world? No, not at all. You don't believe in math. What was that? I believe in math. 
that, but I wouldn't say everything revolves around that. Some things it's uh, based on the person and his opinion. But you, you could say yeah, something I, I, I get that. A person, a person's opinion to me, like I said, I agree with you, but I don't work with opinion, I work with feelings. Matt, to me. I, I, don't, I don't live in that world that you live in, and I understand it. I live in what I believe to be a real world because it's based on Phoebe, mathematical theory. And I believe, because if you put on your phone, what's the language of the universe? Mathematics. Yeah. You even said Einstein proved the world. Yeah. His thing was mathematics. Even Leonardo da Vinci, who did the, the oh, was you know the man that asked? That was his way of showing that all art is math. My brain is a brain. So my point is, right, if you can't think except for the language that was given to you, are you not controlled and slaves? Hello? If you were given a language yeah. that someone else created for you, yeah. and it wasn't God or the universe or anything like that, aren't you enslaved to that? I need one too. But you can't think without it. I need one too. Well, what do you think? So this is what I say, right? If you see, like, um, I have to use certain words, guys. You'll know what I'm saying. If you see rapists and yeah. anything that would abuse somebody, especially yeah. minors, your body's natural instinct, because it believes in good and evil, is to go, uh, yeah, get away yeah. from that. Right. There was once a guy here that you would refer to as Christ, who came and said, that's not real. You've been psychologically tricked into that. What you should be doing is saying, why is this happening? And when you lead it back to the cause and effect, which is mathematical, you'll see that it never comes to evil. It always comes to like abuse, traumas, everything, in almost every single situation. But some people don't see certain abuses and traumas like other people do. Define evil. Uh, for me, define evil. Evil is a fictional word that we use so we don't have to go back and find cause and effect. Evil's not evil. Evil. So you can't really say that people who do evil are all mentally ill. People just do it because they just like that. Why can't I say that? Because not everyone can be do mentally you know, ill. Do you know people can have problems, yeah. but not everyone will be defined as mentally ill. If I said to you that you see a murderer and don't defy that as unhealthy and you see that as a healthy behaviour, I'm going to ask you what mental illness is with you. Because that to me is unhealthy. I feel like there's just, I wouldn't say mentally ill, but more as just unstable, not mentally ill. What's like, the difference? I can't think of a difference. Say no. Because there is none. You say now, like me, I'm not mentally ill. At yeah. the moment, I'm not mentally ill. If I decide to I believe you're mentally ill because you believe in good and evil, but go on. You don't believe, <laughs> you don't believe you're mentally ill, okay? Well, if I'm the chop game in front of a car, that doesn't mean I'm mentally ill. That just means I'm a prick and I'm committing an evil act. If someone pushes another human being in front of the car, would you say that was sick? Um, and twisted in the head? Oh, do you. Uh, he just said, so, yeah, incorrect you, he said if you pushed him in front of that, he would see you as sick and twisted in the head. Well, yeah, that, that's basically what I said, but that sick and twisted in the head, you, you, if I'm to do that and I'm not mentally ill, if I'm undiagnosed mentally ill, if I'm what? not mentally It's not a mental illness to push people in front of cars, I'm sorry, I don't agree with you. No, it's not, it's not a mental illness, illness, it's just an evil act, it's just something you shouldn't do, it's just not right. Okay, I'm saying, can you see what's happening? I see what you're saying, and I see a world, and I used to think like that, and then I realised I was just in a story that that evil was something I read in a story. <laughs> but if I was listening to the real world, here's another thing. Do you guys know what mathematics is? Yes, we so, yeah. know mathematics. What are the three core tenets of all math? The That's a good question. Jaden, what is it? <laughs> positive, <laughs> negative, and what do you get when you put them two together? A positive, and negative, and neutral, right? And so we live in a mathematical world. English is just a made of fiction, right? Yeah. So if I said to you, good is positive, and evil is, is negative, what's the neutral when you put them together? And because you don't know that, it's an illusion. Throwing people in front of cars. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that was negative, bro. <laughs> so in our religion, mm -hmm. good gets you like a lot of things, like go to heaven, like if you do prayers, there's good things coming towards you. After you like hope for stuff that there's good things coming towards you. But for evil, if you don't do prayers or anything, or kill someone, for example, mm -hmm. that's that's a place like hell. You go to hell, which is which is the worst thing that could happen. Ever. Religion. You know these two sides when you're written, is there a place in between them at all? Or are they constantly at war? Because you know when you say, no, these are constantly at war, and then ask you, what's the motto of your religion? A religion of what? Muslim. Yeah, what is the motto of the religion? It's a religion of peace, right? Yeah. Now I'm going to say something to you that's not respectful for you, I say it to every single person at all times. I don't believe in peace. I think peace is just as bad as war. In fact, they go hand in hand, they're the good and evil of it. I believe in harmony. Because harmony will bring them both together. 
So when people tell me, and not just Muslims, other people say this, ah, oh, it's a religion of peace, I say, I know. Because you can only have peace with war. Because peace is the result of war. You wouldn't need peace if there was no war to start with. So what I say to you is, if you think the world isn't good and evil, the neutral in between will always be versus. Unless, of course, you have two things together. So what I'm saying to you is, in your religion, do you believe in God? Everything's like good. Like I don't. That's... No, I. I, I yeah. I, good and evil to me. Yeah. Is a false mathematical premise. Just can't bring it together. No. To me, everything comes in threes. So positive, negative, and what's between them? Neutral. But the neutral between good and evil is versus. So you'll always be in war. Your head can get rid of it, but your heart will always be at war with it. So what you have to do is you have to be able to tell your heart that by putting in action. So next time you see, uh, what about that? Uh, say, say, ne <laughs> say next time you see somebody do something you would normally deem as disgusting in some way or vile or evil, try telling yourself in your head just a little story about what really happened. Like they could have suffered trauma. No matter how vile, do not attack that person. Attack the illness in them. And see them as a loving being, like you want someone to see you. If I said to you, what would make you do those horrific things, you'd say, I'd have to be messed up up there. And that's true for everybody who does it, whether you think it or not. Can I, can I ask you a thing, man? I'll, sh I'll tell you what it, what it is. To me, you're someone called a Babylonian, which I love. You're telling me how, I, you're, you're telling me how I would see it instead of asking. How, how would you see it? If there was I would see a, it as six and an upside down nine together. So it's, a, it's either or? No, it's both. It's both? So it's a six or a nine? No, to me it's both. Both six at the and same it's, time. It's a six and a nine. Yeah, and a nine. So someone could be good and evil. No, I think someone. Yeah, someone can be good and evil if you put them together, which wouldn't be good and evil. What? I give it this. Right? If there's a positive and a negative, what's in between those? Zero. It cancels out. A neutral, right? Positive yeah. and negative. When you put together, it goes a neutral. Yeah. Yeah. It's a neutral. So what I'm saying is, if you put good and evil together, what do you get? What? Okay. You get, nothing. you get nothing. It, 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 it's exactly. So if everything can be led back to something else and a cause and effect. I'll give you an example. My dad used to hang me up with a coat hanger on the door when I was three years old because I used to bite my mum because my real dad used to throw my mum down the stairs and I had traumas in birth. That's why I'm autism and I don't see the world like you guys. So this is really nervous to me because imagine I, I believe I'm speaking to a bunch of aliens, eh? but I'll put it in a more poetic way. Once upon, you guys, none of you here was born. You were all created, your imaginary friends. The body created an imaginary friend, and then about 6.8 months or whatever, you realized the entire world loved that imaginary friend more than you, so now you pretend to be that. And then you fell into a story called English, which is written for you, and that's what it's called the fall of man. You've fallen into your own story, and now you narrate your own life. So you live somewhere called the narrative, I live in somewhere called the hymn, yeah? So my, the only way I can raise people out of the narrative and up to the hymn is by showing them good and evil is not real because it's the glue that holds it all together. Now there's a place below the narrative which we're heading to now, it's called Babylon. Babylon means confusion. Babel is confusion of the words. So for example, people tell me they're a, like a, um, I, I'm a woman because um, I'm a trans woman. I say to them, that, ah, I get you, I'm in between you and the others. I'd say you're a fair man, not a woman. A womb man is someone with a womb. But a fair man is a male whose internal values are built feminine because they consume so much estrogen. So when you consume, a male consumes lots of estrogen, what does estrogen do? Make you feminine. Here's another one, right? The Bible states, do not consume the knowledge of good and evil, but the knowledge of life, life being mathematical. Yeah. That's why I'm trying to show you now. The knowledge, why it's called a tree of knowledge, yeah? Think of a family tree. If the first, you guys know Jordan Peterson? Oh, one, one, of, one of the famous things Jordan Peterson said, if you look it up, is that this, all knowledge should be treated like a box, yeah? Anything you learn from that bit of knowledge needs to be placed in that box, because if you go back and find that original bit of knowledge is false, then everything you learn from it is tainted somehow, yes? This whole thing looks like opinion on opinion. There's no winning, because you've got your opinion, we've got ours. You can't win. Well, actually, I don't have opinion. Mine are theories. That's what I'm laying out to you. There's a difference between a theory and an opinion. Opinion is like a butthole, yeah? We all have them. A theory is when you put mathematical opinions together and objectivize it, which is what I'm doing yeah, for you. You've just told us that you don't believe in good and evil. That's your opinion. No, I believe in it. I don't think it's not real. Yeah, you think it's not real. That's yeah, your opinion. It's your opinion.
your opinion to think it's not real. No, we no. think it's real. All right, let me let me just counter argue with that and say it's not my opinion it's not real because if it was my opinion, I wouldn't care, I wouldn't be here. What it is, I've done all the mathematical work and that's what I'm literally speaking to you now and saying, if I'm saying that it's, that there's nothing in between these two things and we live in a mathematical world and the cause and effect is real, they're all science-based opinions, yeah? So they're theories, science-based yeah. theories. I'm giving you science-based theories to prove that your opinion of good and evil is incorrect with my theory. What I'm asking you to do is give me a theory that counteracts my theory. And I am not giving you an opinion. I'm literally laying down the mathematical reasons why I think this. And I'm asking you to do the same for me. Do you think of good and evil in a religious way at the moment? I don't know what religion means. What does it mean to you? It means something different to me, to you. Believing that religion, like religion is it? Yeah. yeah. Believing in a creator. Creator, then you've got like Christian religion, for example. God and Satan. Believing in a They're, they're Jewish. By the way, they're Christ. Jewish. That's Jewish to me. Christian means Trinity. People who say they're Christian to me are just Jews because all Jews believe in duality, which is good versus evil, right versus wrong. Yeah, you've got three types of Christians. By the way, you know that question I asked you about, because ADHD? Yeah. You do have something between good and evil. You call it versus. What? Every cartoon movie you watch is good versus evil, or they go hand in hand. They're versus each other, yeah? So in you, that neutral is versus, and if neutral is balance, it means your balance is war. Right. I'd rather you say, what is God? To me. If I said to you, if I said to you, what is God? I'd ask you. For God is that which you place above you, and that is the pyramid of life, the top. For me, the Him is God or Allah, and everything comes from the Him. I live inside the Him. This is the body of the Him. This is the body of Allah, and He gives me this. I say He because I'm tricked into that from the psychology. It has it's masculine and feminine brought together as one in perfect harmony. Is Allah or God or the Him, as I call it? I live in the hymn, guys. I think you've been tricked to live in a place called the narrative. Christianity is called the fall of man. You've fallen into a story that you guys write. If I took away English or any other language you may speak other than mathematics, would you guys be able to think or do anything? So you're a prison slave in a system that gave you a language. The natural language that's here is mathematics. And mathematics is positive, good, negative, evil, and that which is in between the neutral, which is Allah, which we live in, which is the Him. And there's evidence to prove that. It doesn't matter how many people say, oh, of course healthy people do this. I'm like, why are you calling healthy people? If they're doing unhealthy things, I don't, I don't get it. But yeah. like, like Jesus once said, or as you know in Jesus, uh, Yeshua, he would say that they're double-minded. One mind believes this and one mind believes that, uh, as in perception, perception of the mind, yeah? And you have three minds. You have that called Adam, which sees everything as a trinity. That called Eve, that sees everything dualistically, and that which you refer to as a certain that you are. Is it a pancreas? The pancreas is... Have a look, ask him what, what shape is the pancreas? So have a look what shape the pancreas is and what the names of the pancreas is. The pancreas is the shape of the leaf. Sorry? The is shape of the leaf, isn't it? No, a snake. It's got a head, neck, body and tail. So what's the snake in the, in the story of Adam and Eve? The serpent, right? And what it, that is, it's, it's like, it's neutral. It's the thing that believes the movie is real. Because it doesn't know it's not real. You might believe it, and then what you do is you let yourself sink down to that, so you can make uh, another story trick you. If I said that when you raise yourself up one, you're tricked and not tricked by the story, which is where most of you live. But if you raise up again, you understand it's all a story. If you ever watch a movie and you think it's gory, do what I teach my children and what I do. I look away, check, look at my beautiful wife, look at something, remember it's a story. Otherwise, part of me is going to start, you know, like when you're kids and your sponges, it's always taken in as a sponge. So if you're showing it good and evil, it's going to think good and evil is real. And then that serpent is then going to tell Eve who sees things dualistically. There's no in between of Eve, it's like a, a dot. It's like female, not female, it's femininity, which is in me and him also, yeah. So the femininity in all of us sees everything is equal to masculinity. It's a six and a six, yeah? Femininity looks at things as a three and three. So, no, it's in us all, especially females, we can be the most empathic beings in the world. I, I, I was raised abused. I was very feminine as a child. Still am. It's like learning to grow my masculinity now. Masculinity, by the way, is just seeing maths. We trick ourselves with the idea of clean and evil, which is narcissism and empathy within us, which is feminine. Think if one is masculine, one is feminine, but it's not. They're both feminine because the feminine in me can be the most empathic being in the world. And thank God I have that because I wouldn't be able to actually connect with people as well as I do. But do you know what else it does? It protects me and it makes me the biggest biatch in the world. And I can scram people's eyes out just about. <laughs> you see, see the security guard today put his hand on my wife. Not today, the other hand. Gosh, I bless him. But uh, I didn't mean for that to happen. But like, I had a freak out on it. And you'll see people like myself do that. 
But if you learn what your masculinity is, and you and all, all of us, if you learn masculinity is two, two, and two, it's equal to femininity, but they see things as in positive, negative, and neutral, and they work things out more, masculinity does. Oh, that, that, that would depend in, see, you think the word soul means the same thing to me, doesn't it? So, I, I, with Matthew Roy, I'd say this. Do you know how to draw a, a circle with a compass? Does it start in the centre? It's not there. Zero. So we have time, we can't get to it. That's the soul. It's the abstract you. And then that which is all energy, so the circle itself, would be the spirit. So these individuals are experiencing their life. They're not lying to us. They're, they're experiencing that, but nobody's showing them the mathematical, like, to take a word that we mathematically assign to something and then assign it to someone else is going to confuse individuals like me, isn't it? Like, if someone tells me now a woman is anything you feel like, I have n that word now is destroyed for me. Yeah. I can't mathematically build it in my head. And they say it doesn't affect anybody, but people in new logical orders like myself, which are more of and have been here longer, now most of us are getting very confused with this. I do, it confuses me. But now when I learned, the hymn would say, how did it get like that? And then when I worked it all out, I understood it. So we have many friends that uh, claim to be, you know, feminine side, like uh, Jess for Chris and everything. Shout out Jeff, I don't know. Um, and uh, obviously I accept that and I appreciate that. Now, I just said two words there, which are linked to my next question. What's the word love mean to you? What forms transgenders, how they created? They're certainly not made that way, but I say to them, I say, look, if you're eating estrogenated products, so within you, you feel feminine, that's how I feel. So I know exactly what you feel like. But the confusion is to say, if we take a word that's already been used, I can envision, I, I put mapped out thing. If you take a word that has structure to it, and then you remove that structure, you've just harmed me. Yeah. When you could easily just make a new structure and say, we call them feminines because they're male on the outside, female on the inside. That's what we're looking at, right? And for me, that's perfectly acceptable. But there's a war because they want us to fight against each other. And I'd say, no, I want to meet in the middle. So if I said to you, yeah, I accept that internally you're feminine like me. And you, are, and you have this idea of being a woman. And you can simply just say, oh no, I'm a feminine because there's something different about me than, you know, why have I got to be exactly the same? Why can't I be who I am and love me for me? But because the world makes you think like that, yeah. you have people now having surgeries and stuff. And I'm like, oh, what? Well, your body, guys, is an individual on its own. Your imaginary friend has become feminine and now is going to punish the body for something you live in, which is neither one of your faults. But mine is my neutral. I only see things as positive and negative health, yeah. positive and negative education. If a baby is born innocent, how did they get to the way they are? If you look at Jeffrey Dahmer, he was abused all his life and then became the way he was. But no one wants to look at that, they want to go evil, horrible thing. And yeah, to me, I'm like, what? I wouldn't call people like that evil. If they are abused, if they have a reason, if they are like brought up in that environment, then they're also changed. But someone who's brought up in a really good environment, their parents treat them well, all their friends treat them well, yeah, they're not boys yeah, or anything. If they just decide bad. to yeah. be evil, or if, if they're brought up well, then bring their kids up in an abusive right. environment, yeah. that is evil. Oh. That, that's just not right, it's, it's evil. Right, so, you know my dad? He was brought up in an abusive environment, then brought me up in an abusive environment. His dad brought him up in an abusive environment, and it just goes back and back and back. Yeah, Which, that, where does evil start? It starts wherever the last started. Whoever started that first was the evil one. Uh, where? Well, I don't know. If you can tell me who started that first, and that's, that's the I, evil I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, but that, that's, that's not the point. The point is, if you're brought up well, and you choose to do it, that's evil. If you're brought up like it, then it's a bit different. I get what you're saying, but what I'm saying is, what if the choice isn't yours? I got, I got a better idea. If if a guy came along here with no legs, would you have a go at him for not being able to walk? No. no. So if a person came along here with no empathy, would you have a go at him for not being able to use empathy? No, but that, that's So what's the only thing that stops you from harm, like graping or harming people? If you, if you have Is, control over it, if you have, if you have empathy, like if you have all this yes. mental control, yeah. and you still choose to do these things, yeah. that's evil. If you, nobody, if you nobody, who, nobody who has empathy can do it. It's impossible. Because I live in two worlds, an abstract world laying on top of a physical world, but most people don't see that. So it, once upon a time, yeah, your parents and society created an imaginary friend inside you. Mine was called Carl. Yeah? What's your name, Sam? Sam. You created an imaginary friend once, and then your parents and everybody else loved that imaginary friend more than you. So you tend to be Sam. The way Sam is just a fictional character you created called an eagle. Yeah? So we have, those qualities have to be different. And to make us different, so we get on, it's the whole reason why you need to be Adam and Eve, we're not the first humans. The amount of people who are the first humans go, oh yeah, they're three sons and public the earth, thanks for that. But it's the first things in you, Adam, is the first thing to come aware that says, oh I'm here. That's why it says God created the world in, it doesn't say seven days, it's seven cycles, so seven years. After six 
6.8 years, so after eight months into your sixth year, you become, become online, you become aware of yourself. And that's why you guys can't remember back now, because none of you were born, you're all imaginary friends. One day, your parents and everybody loved you more than you, so now you just retreat that kind of Call it ego. And then you have, that's ultra ego, and then your, your other egos, like, you know you're not the same around your mum and your dad as you are at school, your friends, your dentist, your lover. They're all, they're all egos built by your ultra ego. And why it does that, it creates something called Seth. It does that because you have no other way to think. Like I said, if I talk English or any language you speak away from you, how would you think to do anything? That tells me you're a slave to the language they gave you. And if you learn what mathematics is, like, you know, you do it. How did you learn English about mathematics? How did you know to put each letter together, each word together, each thing together, form what you want to It's your natural language, mathematics. Not one plus one is, you know, that's abstract math, yeah? Well, all mathematics should be the abstract, but they're talking numbers and stuff. So, we'll go anyway. But if, we, if I said to you that Eden, yeah, you would Eden, never, that's the abstract world. You live there. Your imaginary friend lives there, but it believes it's living in its body. Because you've tricked it into believing that. So, Get in touch with the imaginary friend who you think you are and find out who you really are inside. Because your heart will tell you who you really are. Your imaginary friend will tell you what everybody else wants you to be. Which me, and now I'm in the confusion. So I have to use confusion of the word. So if you take a word that already exists and say, I'm going to hijack that word and change the meaning of it, now you create two worlds for me to live in. Because uh, this has been great, so I'll When's definitely. Video going like? uh, this video will go up uh, by Monday, the latest, probably. So Monday. over the weekend, we, we have to. Obviously, we have to bleep out certain things. Uh, we have to give people opportunity to contact us, say, I don't want my face in this. We blur them out. We try to be respectful. Uh, it's For me, this is all learning. As I say, I don't understand these things. Uh, we ask adults and things like that. We, we get worse treatment for adults because they stuck in it. They've gone deeper into the story. Guys, there's a place below the, below um, the narrative. It's called Babylon. You may have read it in, in your books and everything. People call it Abageddon and things like that. And we're heading there. And that's why Allah has asked me to now spread this message to people. Once we do this channel and get it up and going, the world's not going to be able to ignore it once I get them going, because nobody's asking this. And if I tell you, when, as children, you've been psychologically abused into believing this is real through your cartoons and everything, and now that is not just stuck in your head. As it says, a tree of knowledge is like a family tree upside down. If the very first thing I teach you is right and wrong, good and evil, and not negative, positive and neutral, you will grow this tree. Everything like hate and anger comes from that. That's what I mean, but there is good light, but doing a good deed. For example, if I said positive deed, I mean you're talking differently here. No. So why do you use good? What? Why do you use good? It doesn't go together with evil, it's false, right? Yeah. But a positive can go together with a negative to create a neutral, yeah? Yeah. So my mathematical theory seems sound, but yours seems a little bit like very deep. Oh, I got a great example. Who's watched the movie Maleficent? Who's watched the movie? Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. Sleeping Beauty give you a different opinion of Maleficent than Maleficent, the movie Maleficent. In fact, Maleficent, you saw why she was where she is. Have you watched the, one of the newest Spider-Men? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. And, and everybody told the bad guys were all evil, and he wouldn't accept it, would he? And he found why they were the way they were. It's the him reaching you for your imagination to tell you guys you've been tricked all your lives. Sorry, tell you guys. But at least someone now is telling you this. You can change it any time you like. You just have to get rid of those. It's so hard to get it from your heart. It's believed in. I, I believed in it for almost 38 years. 33 is when I started disbelieving it. Only 38 when I realised to get rid of it. Every time I thought I saw evil, no matter how I felt, I said I won't let my feelings Hello. control me. I will tell myself this is not evil. There's obviously a reason. Think no, about all know. the things I did people said evil and why they happened. I put that love on other people. I You should be proud of that. So, so and yeah, it's exactly what we're trying to preach. Like, set adults, don't but you if you keep putting fairy tale terms Pop in like down. evil, <laughs> yeah, instead of like negative education, yeah. negative health and stuff, yeah. you're gonna live in a fairy tale and you're gonna judge people like that because there's nothing that will try to bring them together to heal. Yeah. 
I don't think you can't be on the level. There's always ways that can help you, but you can't, you can't be on the level. There's yeah. always something there that can help you patch up. Danny said that because I was going to say you can be broken, but you can't be unbroken. You can also be unbroken. Yeah, you can't be unbroken, but you need, you need to waste it past. There's a certain mental blockage that's in your head that makes you have fear of what's happening. Yeah, this. Yeah, you are good. Now, if you get rid of this in your head, this yeah. knowledge, say to yourself, this is childish knowledge that was given to me. Once you get rid of it, it'll take time. If you try your best for the next year to get rid of that internally, like when your body feels a certain yeah. way, like, uh, did he just look at me? Yeah. You've got to go, what is making me look at me? Titan, can you grape a woman? I will. Grape a woman. I no. say, why, why can't you? It, I could, I just choose not to. Right, and I couldn't, even if I chose to want to do it, I couldn't because something in me wouldn't let me do it like I couldn't jump off a building because it's called empathy. So if you tell me you don't have the empathy and if you chose to grape somebody, you can do it, I'd think there was a psychological problem with you. No, because you, you can have empathy and choose to do it. So. How? That, that is where, can you evil. choose to grape someone? I mean, you could choose to do it, but I wouldn't because like... You no, know, right? What I mean? How, then how, do you, how are you able to choose? You're a Muslim, dude. Right, so, all right, I bet a question, right? If there's no law to prevent you right now from stabbing somebody, you griping somebody, anything, what's stopping you from doing it? Uh, moral compass. Right, which is empathy, yeah? Yeah. Right, and so empathy prevents you from doing it, correct? Yeah. You've just broken his theory. Uh, now, boys, we've lost this, all right? Let's call it a day. Do you want to have a go? Go for it. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like people just like do things because they feel like it and some people aren't evil but they're like in a All right, do you want me to tell you the most like, hidden poison known to us is trauma? Yeah. If I, if, I, if I was suffering from trauma, would you advise me to come to you two for advice or go to a trauma expert? Uh, a trauma expert. And yet now you're giving me advice on trauma and now it's not real. I want to go back to my old thing then. Go what you what? <laughs> I want to go back to my old What would you call so? If, I, if someone was brought up well, someone wasn't brought up with an abusive family, or so they didn't experience trauma yeah. and they chose to do these things, how would you explain that then? Never heard of anybody do that. But they do. So, give me evidence of that. But if you research it, you can find them. I no, I, dude, I've researched it for 38 years, never found a case. You're saying no murderer on this planet has not experienced trauma. No murderer has not. Seen, no murderer has yeah. not had a traumatic background. That's what you're saying. I don't think any human hasn't. I think all humans are tra traumatized. Some just get traumatized more than others. And in certain areas, your empathy lacks more than others. Like you could have empathy to rabbits, but not to little children. Because yeah, I put it like this, right? This goes for the the, um, the thing of being like a racist or something like that, which are all forms of illness in the mind. Yeah. If I turned to you and said, look, um, the reason this guy is a racist towards these people is because his grandfather. Um, got like beat up by a group of uh, individuals who identify as black and then because of that he, fo he formed traumas in his head and then put them traumas in his little one's head by saying horrible things to him and then he's grown up with a knowledge in his head thinking that all individuals with a different coloured skin or something are like evil to them which we know is not real so in that aspect you would say no that's not real buddy not, not all races have been pulled up to be racist how do they get there then? Some races just choose, they just choose it. Yeah, but have you got evidence now or are you just saying that? Yo, you have evidence otherwise. Me. Yeah, me, you. I can ask you the same thing. What would make you be racist to anybody? What would make you say anything horrible to these two fine gentlemen just because they look a little different or they have different colour skin? What right. would make you do that? Me personally, I'm not going to do it, but other people... No, no, I said if you were to do it, what would have to happen for you to be able to do that? Out of choice, like someone could just. No, you'd to have do to have it. genuine hate in your heart for these two individuals, or only want to look like these lovely guys, wouldn't you? Because some people could just do it out of choice. That's what you're saying that you can't just do things out of choice. The choice does exist. People can do things out of choice. Em em you can do things that your empathy allows you to do. Think about it, you've heard this word since you've been born. I don't think anybody has an idea what this word that can describe it. I could tell you what it is in three words. And it's up to you then to decide if I'm correct or not. If I said you love is to accept and appreciate at the same time as being aware of what you accept and appreciate then. So acceptance, yeah. appreciation, awareness, and only those three things, would you say that forms a potion called love? Yeah, because so there's more to it, I guess. Yeah. Okay, then tell me what you think is, what can you add to those three things that keeps it unconditional love? It's not because love, people see love differently though. Ah, I think you see loving bonds with different people, like you love your mum different, things yeah. like that. They're called bonds, not love. Yeah, true. Love is the thing that holds that bond. Yeah. 
testosterone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, but um, yeah, so if I say, yeah, I get it. You're saying you have loving bonds with different people. I get that. I love my wife and my daughters, my children, everybody a little different, yeah? So I love people differently, but they're just bonds to me. But the ingredient, the ingredients of love are those three things to me. And anytime you try to add something else, it becomes conditioned. Right, you're really nice. We're going to have to go No, 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 that's okay, guys. Plenty of people. Do you post on YouTube? We do. We'll go. What is really going on? So if you write W-I-R-G-O, yeah. you might have to put little dots in between, otherwise it doesn't come up, right? Nobody wins, guys. To me, this is a trick question, and I'm fooling you. Same with me. But no one else believes us, so I give them the opportunity. And every time I get an extra zero in the bank, it's going on you. So every time our show gets up, that'll go up to a million in the end, and then I'll prove to the world that I... Am. By the way, I'd not say this in a, in a spiritual sense, ready? The word Jesus means sort of, Christ means Trinity per perception or perspective, and Nazareth means a new branch of knowledge. So I want to take the role up of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, but I have to show the world it's not a religious stupid story, it's somebody who's gonna teach you something they learned from Allah. Allah has spoken to me because I'd broken, I was abused so bad as a child, and then recently I couldn't handle the world, so about, when I was about 33, I broke, and I've been rebuilding a new imaginary friend of me. So it was lovely to meet your imaginary friends, guys. I'll explain that to you next time. Do you want to have a try? Thank you very much, man. Uh, Thank you. Thank go you, brothers. Go, on, go on, have a try. Go on. Come on, my lessons, my lessons started. Okay, okay guys, obviously go to lessons. Don't let me keep you. We will, we will be coming back, and you'll see signs, and we, we have to give the college um, a disclaimer first, which I'm going to go speak to them out in a minute and email all of them. Love is to accept, appreciate, in awareness. They said so. You have to be mathematically aware of what it is, and then go for that. We're going to come back to our top again, as we said. So we can ask you to come back to that. I just saw a clip of that. We got told, why don't we just ask the Jews? It goes back at the same time. There's always something there, or someone, or an opinion. That actually is your mind. Eh? That's what we're going to use that. Yeah. Or there's something that's influence and effect, yeah. Cause and effect, that's why I believe in. There's always a cause and effect of what happens. So let's say, for example, car accident. There has to be something there to cause our accident. It doesn't matter mentally, it yes. happens physically. Excellent. So what, from now on, what I'd like you to do inside yourself is, well, no matter what you see, that you, your heart might go, uh, cause and effect, not evil. Yeah. Say cause and effect. What happened for this to happen? And more often than not, you'll find like a, a gazillion reasons why something happened. You'll never find it. Uh, I love you. Yeah, Hi, uh, <laughs> We're just wrapping up now. Thank you. Right. Have a lovely day. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Cause, so, oh, yeah, because that's obviously the way that I probably I think that way as well. Then you have some people who go against it. That's probably because they was uh, my old style grandparents, like my granddad, who don't believe in that type of stuff. They don't like people and stuff. But that's the way they was brought up. We was brought up now, and we've been shown that it's okay to be that. But I believe in that show because that's the way you believe on how you should be made. But at the same time, I feel like you don't force on other people, you let people get on with their stuff, just be you. And now I just want to share with people that which the hymn tells me. is the only way for me to help people and destroy evil, which is what I've been sent here to do, is to actually show you never existed in the first place. It's so cool. What do you think about that? Um, the imaginary friend I was telling you about, he died. I had too much trauma abuse and I went into a mental breakdown. And then to rebuild myself, I went into like a window safe mode start up again and build a different operating system which I now call Christ. So Jesus meaning sort of, Nazareth meaning a new branch of knowledge. Jesus Christ and Nazareth. But only you guys can give me that. Absolutely not. Christ. You are Christ, Christ. Christ. not a Christ. There's no such thing as a Christ. You are a Christ. You just haven't opened that eye yet. Unless you get rid of those two things. Hence, in the Christian book it says, do not consume the knowledge of good and evil. It will only kill the critical thing in mind. But I've heard you say what you think evil is, and I accept what you think evil is. I'm saying I have a different word for it that's exactly the same, and my one is far more healthier and realistic and mathematically with a theory, whereas so far you've just told me, of course people are like, ah, oh, that's not evidence. Look, they're both just as realistic as each person thinks of it in a different Yet way. I've let, uh, let down mathematical theory backed up by facts, and you've given me nothing so far. Because I didn't expect no. others to be I know, which is what I'm saying. Next time, be prepared, and that £100 could be yours. In fact, hopefully when I'm here, I'll be having another zero on it.
All right, go on, guys. Have a go. So uh, guys, here. thank you very much for speaking to us. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. In you, it's not. I'm not masculine. Do you? My body's masculine. Yeah. So I have a higher chance of being more masculine. That's needed. What's the point in having males and females internally exactly the same? You wouldn't have no bloody interest in any of us at all, would you? You'd just be like, oh, do you know what? I just have a baby with them, but I'm staying with the women.